I have two pieces here that are done in collaboration with my collaborator Nate Larson, who's in Baltimore, and the works are from Geolocation, which is a series of photographs we've been working on for eight years now where we mine the public timeline of Twitter and we go to the site where that tweet was sent and we make a photograph on that site. So kind of memorials to Twitter is what we call them, or memorials to the data stream. And the works progressed as Twitter's progressed at the same time. This work is all public domain. We have no interest in hacking. Like I said, no interest in calling people out. We don't use the usernames, but you could easily look them up via the tweets. Nate and I have been working for a number of years together on ideas of long distance communication. And this, we started the project only a year after the iPhone came about, so I didn't have one, Nate did. Twitter was kind of hitting a little bit, but Twitter's inherently public and most of the other platforms are inherently private, so that's how we picked Twitter over Facebook, because we're really just interested in the idea of people communicating together and across these platforms and new ways of communicating. A lot of the work comes from really going and surfing the web till you can't, you know, till you fall off. And I think we're not doing that as much as we used to. We used to kind of, they call it cyber flaneur, where you just kind of surf and surf the web. And so we both surf and surf for years and we're working on new projects and we always are just trying to find where that point is or something hits us that's really exciting. We're interested in data and data that surrounds us and how to visualize that not as data viz. So right now we're working with some of the data from Ashley Madison, which was one of the largest data drops, public and most fascinating data drops that happened recently because um, the data that came out of it included um, everything from people's names, addresses, which we're not interested in locating or calling people out, but we're really interested in what people are willing to put online. And the Ashley Madison data contained a lot of really personal info. I want people to think about how much they leave or how much is surrounding them in data. Like we walk around clouds and people say, well, how can I get out of this? And if you think about it, the power company knows when I go home because I turn on my light switch. So it's really not a way around it, but it's how we're using it and what we're using it for. So I really like to think about what's out there and what it can be used for, and if in the wrong hands, it can be used for other you know, purposes that aren't as, as kind as we are.